The Cardinals return home this week and look to hand the Philadelphia Eagles their first loss of the season. Alongside defensive lineman Zach Allen, I'm Danny Sarek, and this is Sideline Exchange, presented by Hyundai. Zach, week four, the win in Carolina. You had an incredible game with a sack, three passes defense, two quarterback kicks. It was also the fourth consecutive week you have logged the most snaps on the defensive line. How are you embracing your role as that consistent piece on the D-line in your fourth year now? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's, uh, you know, nice to be out there as much as I am. And, um, you know, you're just playing football, so it's fun. You want to be out there every play. So, um, you know, we got a lot of guys, everyone we trust in the room, the standards, the standards. So, um, you know, anybody can really be in that role. The defense had its best performance of the year so far. A lot of season low, 16 points, three turnovers. For the first time, didn't allow its opponent to score on the first three drives. What do you attribute that fast start and overall sound performance to? Yeah, I think that's just something we've really been focusing in practice. And, uh, you know, it's nice to see us execute it. And, you know, we really talk about just doing our jobs. And if we do that, you know, we should be winning those one-on-one -on -one matchups. And, you know, luckily we did. So hopefully we can continue that for the next, you know, 13 weeks. Each week, this defense has eliminated the offensive threat on the other side of the ball, whether you're looking at Devontae Adams, Cooper Cup, Christian McCaffrey. When you're looking at the Philadelphia Eagles, Miles Sanders in the backfield, Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown out wide. What are going to be the difficulties making sure that this team, yet again, eliminates their offensive threats? Yeah, I mean, they have so many threats, so obviously that's a challenge. But, uh, you know, we have great coaches who've come up with a good game plan. And, again, it kind of just comes down to execution. If we execute, we should be fine. If not, you know, um, it'll be a long day. But, you know, I trust everybody in the room to, you know, do their jobs. The 4-0 Eagles have put up 400-plus total net yards every game. Quarterback Jalen Hurts has rushed for 20 or more yards every game, only thrown two interceptions. He's mobile, he's dynamic. How do you make Hurts uncomfortable Sunday? Yeah, I mean, he kind of can do it all. So, uh, you know, obviously try to keep him in the pocket, but, you know, get it, get pressure on him because he is, you know, such a good quarterback. So it's a challenge, but it's a challenge we're really excited for. Every team in the NFC West is two and two right now. Knowing that this team still has wrinkles to work through, how much does that alleviate any sort of panic knowing you have some wiggle room in the standings at this point? Yeah, I think, you know, we've kind of all said it, you know, for, you know, kind of how slow we've been starting and stuff like that to be in this position is, you know, obviously, you know, we wish we were better, but, you know, it's not awful. So um, just a lot to build off of. And, uh, you know, if we just hit our stride, we'll be in a really good spot. Looking to continue that stride from the road to get their home win this Sunday from State Farm Stadium with a 125 kickoff against the Philadelphia Eagles. For Zach Allen, I'm Danny Sarek. Thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of Sideline Exchange.